Hey guys, listen, I want to talk about liquids, intermittent fasting, and ketosis. I get a lot of questions on can I drink this during intermittent fasting when I'm supposed to be fasting? Is it going to interfere with my fat burning? Let's talk about that, okay? The first thing I want to talk about is tea. Can you drink tea? Uh, absolutely, you can. Now, tea and coffee do have caffeine. Obviously, you can drink too much. If you drink a small amount of tea, it has some caffeine, it's probably not going to be a problem at all. But large amounts of caffeine can start stimulating insulin, but small amounts uh, don't seem to have an effect. Okay, so tea is okay. Of course, just get nationally decaffeinated, that would be even better. Um, all right, so coffee. Is coffee okay? Well, let's talk about coffee. Um, again, I think one in the morning would be great, and I know some people get really upset because I you know, they're used to drinking it all day long, and then I say I'm trying to take it away from them, and I don't want to do that because uh, of the addiction, I mean, the uh, craving that they have. But the point is that uh, too much coffee can um, rev up the adrenals and activate cortisol, which can then activate insulin. Okay, so that's the problem because it's a stimulant and it stimulates the adrenal. Now, caffeine also stimulates adrenaline, which actually does help fat burning, by the way. Um, but I wouldn't drink coffee to lose weight, all right? So one in the morning I think is going to be fine. Now, as far as what to put in it, is milk or cream going to be a problem? Uh, from just working with lots of people, it's not really a problem if you do small amounts. Now let's talk about if you're adding the Bulletproof, which is the butter in there. Uh, for some people they can do it, other people it's almost as if they're taking a meal because they're consuming a, a good amount of um, butter in there. So. I mean, if you want to use that as a meal, I mean, go for it. But if we're trying to do intermittent fasting, we're trying to fast and not add that much fat into uh, even the times when you're not supposed to be eating, because anything will trigger insulin um, to some degree, like a meal. Now, um, sugar. Do we want to put sugar in there? Absolutely not. You can put sugar alcohol. You can put xylitol, erythritol. I don't know if I would want to put stevia in there, because that would be kind of... Uh, weird taste, but a small amount of coffee is okay as long as you don't add sugar and you just do a small amount of cream and maybe a little butter. With some people, they can get away with it. Other people can't. So I've had mixed reviews on that. So now if you do a coffee bean extract, uh, there are certain um, phytonutrients in the coffee bean that are really beneficial for insulin resistance. And that's probably why it helps some people lose weight. But if they don't have insulin resistance, this is not going to help them lose weight. Um, again, that's the coffee bean extract thing. I don't want to get into that, but as far as when you roast the coffee, you kill all those phytonutrients, okay, because you're heating it way up. So that's coffee. Try to do a small amount, all right? Um, water. Water is not going to be a problem. You can drink water. Um, when you're on the ketogenic diet, you are going to lose some water, so don't be afraid to drink it. I just like to add electrolytes to it just because normally you're going to lose some electrolytes, uh, not just potassium, but salt too. Some people um, that all of a sudden feel very kind of fatigued during the ketosis diet or even intermittent fasting, we plug in a little bit of salt and boom, they just kind of perk right up. So it could be either salt or potassium. But of course, don't do the tap water. Do uh, filtered water or um, I like unspoiled, I like Pellegrino the best myself. So I'll drink a good amount of that per, every day. Or some other spring water, bottled water. I love carbonated water myself. Uh, carbonation does not interfere with either one of these at all. Um, now, vitamin water usually comes with a lot of sugar. Don't do that. Okay, then we have bone broth. Bone broth is actually a really good thing to consume even between your times that you're eating and the times that you're fasting because you're getting a lot of electrolytes with not a lot of calories, okay? So I think this is totally fine to do, and the electrolytes and the nutrition in that would actually help overcome the ketogenic flu or any symptoms that you might have. So this is okay, this is okay. Uh, diet soda, uh, no, because aspartame will increase uh, uh, insulin. So those artificial sweeteners will increase insulin, but if you buy uh, like a diet soda that is with stevia or xylitol or erythritol that's non-GMO, that would be fine. So I'm gonna say no for diet sodas. Apple cider vinegar, very okay. 
Apple cider vinegar will help regulate blood sugars. It's great to um, help you if you have a fatty liver. It's great for digestion, uh, making insulin more, I'm sorry, uh, glucose more sensitive so the need for insulin goes down. This is a real good, good one. Alcohol, just keep it below a six pack a night. No, I'm just kidding. Now, alcohol, um, there's certain types of alcohol that have low calories, but still the alcohol uh, will inhibit the liver function and completely knock you out of ketosis. So um, don't consume alcohol, all right? Uh, coconut water, no. This is a no and this is a no because it has quite a bit of sugar. Yes, it has electrolytes, but it has a lot of sugar. Okay, so I don't recommend it. Again, if your metabolism is really fast, you might be able to get away with it, but I'm just telling you in general, it, any type of sugar or juice, anything like that will raise the insulin. Now, also you have unsweetened cranberry juice if you put it in water. Now, I used to recommend that. The problem is it would, believe it or not, knock uh, some people out of fat burning, and uh, I was surprised, and then I'll, I took them off that, and I had them just do the lemon and the apple cider vinegar, vinegar and water, and they went right back in the fat burning. So that's like a test that I found that works. Almond milk. Well, um, almond will, uh, milk, usually uh, you want to get it unsweetened, and you can have some of that. Um, it's, there's not a lot of sugar in that, usually. Uh, sometimes there are some that do have hidden sugars, but as long as there's low sugars, it's going to be okay. And I forgot to add milk. Well, milk is something you probably would not want to add to this list um, because milk does have a bit of sugar. But again, a little bit of milk in your coffee would be okay. Get the grass-fed or organic. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Press the subscribe button and I'm going to hold on one second. Who is this? Hold on one second. Hey, honey, listen, I'm right in the middle of filming here. She wants to say hi. Okay, I said hi. I got to go. Okay, bye. So if you like the videos, press subscribe and I will keep you updated with the future events.